What's up my lovelies, Raif Darazi here, and we've got a lot to cover. It's been a while. We've got a functional HIV cure in the works, possibly, and um, I've got updates on my life, uh, therapy. Let's dive right in. Um, if you notice, this doesn't look like my apartment. That's because it's not my apartment. I am in a hotel in Fresno, California for the job that I do with my parents which is a uh, plastic bag manufacturing essentially. And I'm going to an agricultural expo in Fresno for nut, fruit tree, grape growers. And the other topic I was gonna touch on, so I read this article about a potential functional HIV cure. Now we've heard HIV cure before to varying degrees. Some of them are, well, all the ones that we've covered so far are not really practical for the everyday person because they require extreme circumstances and putting the body through really risky things such as um, immunosuppressing treatments. So now we have this HIV functional cure that is transmitted through an IV over, I think it was two to three hours. The treatment is known as EBT-101. I know that tells you a lot about it. And the technology basically, it cuts up the HIV genome in the DNA. And it cuts it up in a way that makes it no longer able to replicate and do its dirty little business. And so that's great news because once the HIV can't do what it does, then it's no longer impacting our bodies is no longer harming us, creating a cure. And apparently this would make us in HIV tests come back as negative. We would no longer have to take our ART, our antiretroviral therapy, and therefore it's a functional cure. And the reason why it's functional specifically is because there might still be parts of the HIV genome in our body um, so it's still there, it's not completely eradicated, but for all intents and purposes, she's done, she's out. So they're going to trials, gonna see how effective that is. You know, there are so many things that are just coming down the pipeline lately, more and more as time goes on, as they should, considering the amount of progress we've made with SARS-CoV-2, AKA COVID. We'll see what happens and we'll, I'll keep you posted on that. I do want to make a point to talk about HIV news more often. I know I don't do it, very often and I and I know there's enough news coming out lately that I can keep you posted on the latest and greatest. The other topic I wanted to talk about really quickly because I don't want to make this too long for my first comeback video in a millennia is my therapy. So I had that original therapist, woman, blind, lesbian, cool, um, but I quickly realized that this gal is a busy woman and she's working in a hospital. She's getting, she's kind of like working part-time though because she's kind of in retirement mode. And so the time I was spending with her, though productive, felt a little stilted. It felt a little like, okay, let's get to the solution. And then that's it. You don't really need me. I'll just give you help as you need it. And that's it. What I was really looking for is someone that I can consistently talk to who I can share my you know, innermost vulnerable thoughts and feelings and struggles and continue that relationship with a therapist. Cause I don't wanna have to like, you know, explain that stuff again and again to different people. Um, and I didn't wanna just reach out to someone occasionally with something that I'm struggling with because for me personally, it really helps to be able to talk just to to kind of talk out loud and bounce my my own thoughts, my own ideas, and my own struggles off of somebody else. That helps me process and come up with solutions and grow as a person. And so I found somebody who's, I'm assuming is like my age, really sharp guy, really like grounded and, and just seems like humble and cool, very smart and very intuitive and someone that I really am getting along with really well. So I'm really excited. We've had four sessions so far. We had to skip one or two weeks here and there because he had conflicts or I did. But the idea is that we're gonna do weekly, which is fantastic. So we'll be following up every week. I've mentioned different things that I'm struggling with with him and he's been really good at like asking me the right questions so that I can kind of like understand myself better and come up with solutions with him and stuff that I can work on you know, kind of tackling my, why I'm not like 
for example, my YouTube videos, why am I not doing it consistently? What's holding me back? What's the anxiety and the stress and the fear that I have that's keeping me from really excelling at that? Also like balancing my, my work life and my social life because it's so easy for me. I've become type A over time to just go all in on work and focusing on that and I just don't have a social life. I don't pay attention to my friends or my relationships and that's just not really that healthy. It's definitely possible to have a better balance. I wouldn't say it needs to be 50-50, but to have some kind of balance in there uh, just to keep me grounded. So we're working on that. We're working on um, my self-image and just feeling like I'm not enough and that being rooted in childhood trauma. Feeling like I'm not enough or knowing that I'm not en enough in my, in my subconscious is really holding me back from a lot of personal success, from allowing myself to really excel in a lot of areas because, you know, I'm at a place now where I'm not getting any younger and I really do want to take my career and my life to the next level. And I'm never going to get there unless I tackle this really nitty gritty stuff. So we're really like digging in and it feels good and I really like it. It's stressful, it's intimidating, but I know we're on the right path, we're on the right trajectory. So that's exciting stuff. And I want to keep you posted on the stuff that I'm learning about in therapy. I'm not gonna do it in this video because we've already gone pretty long, covered a lot of stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Cheers.